Okay, YouTube. I am uh, working on a 2012 E350. The uh, dashboard vent would shut off and default to defrost when you accelerate. And I'm making this video to clear up some things, and uh, basically, there's nothing good about it on YouTube. So, to prevent y'all from having to do this, I'm going to show you where everything is and how to fix it without pulling all this garbage apart. Fortunately, I was paid to do this, so I'm going to show you the box where the check valve and the vacuum canister is, and it would be much easier just to relocate it somewhere else rather than pulling all of this stuff out of the way. But anyways, here's the evap canister. This is my new reservoir. And this line right here runs to your intake manifold. This is the one that goes through the case you can see from inside the van. This line you'll see from the top, it runs across the top like this. It connects to the intake manifold with this little connector right here on the red line. So, if you ever have this problem, this box right here went bad, it was leaking air. Um, you can just buy this box and a new check valve and uh, cut the line right here. Cut this line, hook up a check valve and reservoir under the hood somewhere. I mean, really anywhere it, could, it would fit. There's a lot of room under here and just run a new line in, through the firewall. You could probably even pull this line out, pull this line out, and, and drill a new hole and just fish it through here. Get a hanger or a wire or something and fish it through. I keep you from having to pull all the stuff out. You have to take the whole entire dashboard, the heater core and the evaporator out to change this box. And it's probably the dumbest design I've ever seen. So hopefully this will help anybody who's wondering where this is. And now you know, it's on the bottom of the EVAP case. Hope this helps.